Hello. Today, Council of Light and I are here to discuss and address the planetary alignment that is occurring tomorrow, June 3rd, 2024, often referred to as the Parade of Planets. And during this auspicious planetary alignment, there is an energetic container being offered. And as I begin to speak to it, the vibration rises as if we were going up in an airplane and the ears want to adjust a bit for the, the difference in pressure, the difference in frequency. And so we just invite you, your body, your teams to work with the energetic fields and the guides to balance the electrical and magnetic energy and all systems, components, and levels of your being inviting each of you to anchor into your core column of light and ground in your own unique way, increasing the magnetics, the roots, stabilizing yourselves as we prepare to go up, 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 even just talking about it. And we're actually already in the energy of it the day before a bit in the container. And so we're going to bring in some energetic support to help with um, the preparation and ability to step into the energetic container that is being provided by this very auspicious planetary alignment. And it's, it's six planets aligning that you're able to see, depending on where you are in the world, with the naked eye, which is lovely. And you don't have to visually connect to it in the physical realm to connect to the energetic of what it represents. And so we just invite each of you to follow your guidance as to how you're being invited to hold yourselves during this time. And as we prepare for the solstice, summer solstice here in the US, depending on where you are in the world, the solstice, and June 20th, we will be doing a transmission that day. Uh, there's still possibility that that will be audio only transmission if you do enroll for that. So just recognize that that transmission may not have a video element to it. It may be audio, uh, call in, listen, or connect over internet, listen. Um, and the planetary alignment that is occurring now is preparing us for, in preparation for next phase, new launch point of the summer solstice. Again, in the US, it's the summer solstice. And just inviting each of you to work with the energetic fields and the guides at the level of your higher selves to connect to what this represents for each of you. Invite your body, Davis, to connect to what it represents for them in a higher realm, in collaboration with your future selves. So inviting your future self of you, your body, your teams to come back in time and to hold counsel with you in an appropriate, safe, supportive dimension, sharing appropriate energetic information about how you can utilize this particular planetary alignment in an optimal way. And it is Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, Look at my notes, I'm too altered. Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Those are the six. And so depending on your particular astrology, astrological birth chart, astrological affiliations, it will affect each of you a little bit differently. But when I look at what is being called forward here, collectively, like what could support everyone, no matter your affiliation with these particular planetary bodies, celestial bodies. There is a process that's being invited at this time in this particular energetic container that's being held by these celestial beings and beings affiliated with this particular it's not, I call it a container. It's not really a gateway or a portal. It's more of a container, an energetic potential, an energetic 
framework that's being held with this particular maneuver. And it's to support us in this particular stage step phase in this particular navigation of stepping stones of consciousness as we move through this ascension cycle, planetary ascension cycle. So it's supporting Gaia, supporting all the body devas, which are aspects of Gaia. And so we're gonna invite each of the celestial beings to share appropriate energetic information with each of you appropriately in a way you can receive it in a gentle graceful way only that what you need bring in only that what you need and the particular container that this represents energetic possibilities energetic potentials is themed around filling up your cup filling your gas tank filling your fuel tank um Filling yourself up with your own light, which is the best way to fill yourself up. It's like the most sustainable way. It's the most empowered way. It's the most aligned way. It's, it's the fuel you can actually use for yourself that's calibrated for you. We're gonna bring in a process of moving into alignment more with you receiving your own light and retrieving all your light, your resources, your energy back on you. We invite you to take a deep breath in. And again, just a reminder that this work is free will choice. You choose it or you don't. You can listen and still not choose to do the energetic maneuvers, the energetic processes we're inviting you into. It's an invitation. And then you get to choose to do it or not. And you choose through your yes or your no. And it's really as simple as that, which allows you to stay empowered with the process and never feel like it's being done to you or for you. This is really a collaborative endeavor that we model, that we demonstrate on how to evolve in a healthy co-creative way with allowing the support within you to reflect externally as me, the Council of Light, showing up to offer this process if you choose it for you, if it resonates for you. And we invite you to take a deep breath in, bringing all your awareness, your energy back into your column of light. You are a ray of light emanating directly from source. You are one with source, fully connected with every breath. Inviting you to move into that remembering and orientation into oneness. Inviting the body to even nature spirit teams to do the same. And again, we're inviting the higher selves, you, your body, your teams to do the work, to do the energetic maneuver. And then you from this level, choose it or not. Say yes to it or no, or not yet. Whatever your choice is. And as you intend, if you choose, to bring your energy and awareness back into your calm of light, your focus, your reference points for you. We invite you at the level of your higher selves, body Davis, higher selves and teams to reference all resources, your light, your fabric, your creative energy, your healing energy, your motivation, drive, desire that you placed externally in any moment in time in any incarnation. Body Davis, same team, same, referencing all your resources, your light that you placed externally. And the time you did it, you probably thought it was helpful or the way things are done. But what we're learning, what we're remembering is that our light only works for the aspect of light that is us. And each aspect of life is intended by divine design to source at source level their own divine nectar. And our divine nectar that works for us isn't calibrated for another being. And if we try to use it on another being or any type of external circumstance, we can actually create dissonance in their fields and in the energetic fields in general. So it's all about functioning from within, accessing our resources from within, referencing our resources within, 
And anytime we give away a resource or fabric or our light, try to place it on something, use it on something externally, it creates the illusion of separation from our own light. Every time we do it, we're going to feel a little more disconnected from source. <clears throat> and so for many of us, <clears throat> what we really, really, really want is to know in every cell fiber of our being that state of connection, which can then reflect in our experience of ourselves. We start to then experience ourselves as one with source instead of knowing intellectually or some part of us, some deeper part of us knowing we are one with source, but why aren't we experiencing that? Why is the reflection showing up as though we're separate? Why is there lack? Why is there scarcity? Why is there lack of forgiveness or lack of kindness so much in my outer expression and what I'm experiencing and what I'm witnessing and what I'm seeing and what's happening to me, which is really not ever the case. It's always a reflection. And so we encourage you to take a moment and just acknowledge, bring to your awareness all the places and spaces that are conscious that you may have placed your light, your gifts, your power externally, your sexual energy, your healing energy, your creative current, your desire, streaming your, your life force, your creative energy externally, trying to make something outside of you be different so you can have something, so a need can be met, whether it's happiness or peace or joy or connection or safety or support. And all of those spaces and places not only create a dissonance, but they will anchor us in almost like it's a choice choose an experience of separation because we're literally separating like we're trying to separate from our light we're taking it and placing it externally anytime we take a gift a fabric um our love our light and we place it externally we now will feel separate from it we now will feel a little bit more empty or a little bit less motivated or a little less supported because our light supports us. And so just taking a moment to cultivate that energetic muscle of awareness, and maybe this is the first time you're ever hearing this, that when we place our light externally on something or someone or even a region or a culture or a world or a planet, we create the illusion of separation from our own light and from source. And so we're perpetuating through our choice to place our light, our power externally, we perpetuate the experience of separation from source for ourselves. And we're not doing anyone any favors because we're now agreeing to the world of separation, all that comes with it. And we're not a way shower any longer. We're actually at the level of the problem, trying to fix the problem. So in order to create a new world, a new earth, it's all about rewiring our oneness. And so we invite you to take a deep breath in, even if it doesn't make full intellectual sense to you at this time, you can invite your higher self to lean into what's for the highest good for you at this moment. And you can choose to like, move in the direction of what's in favor of your highest good. We invite you to lean into your line of light, to invite your higher self. We're gonna invite your body, Davis, higher self and teams to do the same, to work with the energetic fields and the guides to reference all your light, your resources, your love, your gifts, wisdom, mastery that you've placed externally, your creative life force, you tried to stream externally thinking that was helpful, thinking that was the way. It's okay, no judgment. We're evolving now out of separation consciousness. And just inviting you at the level of your higher self, body, Davis, higher self, and teams to work with the energetic fields and the guides to also reference the need you were trying to meet for yourself by doing it. And that's, again, no judgment. Maybe we were trying to feel fulfilled by helping others. The fulfillment is actually your light that you're giving away. 
that's where you can reference the fulfillment is in your inner river. So whatever need you were trying to meet externally by streaming your resources externally, we invite you, your body, your teams to retrieve all reference points for those needs off of the external world, off of circumstances, off of others, off of outcomes, out of the past, out of the future, into the now, into your river of light, into your divine nectar of source light that contains everything you could ever desire, activating and amplifying, and drinking in, receiving those needs in a vibrational way, because we always receive it as a vibration first, internally within your river at divine nectar level from a place of oneness with source, from a place of connection. Retrieving all responsibility for you meeting your needs off of everyone and everything, off of your service work, off of any external beings, entities, reflections, organizations, outcomes. Retrieve, retrieve, retrieve all responsibility for you meeting your own needs back to you, holding it at the level of your higher self, body, team, say. And then receiving it within you. And you don't have to know what those needs were that you were trying to meet. We're just going to model, we're going to demonstrate, we're going to share information about how you can source all of it inside you. That's the divine design. And when you begin to source, from the divine nectar within consistently, then your outer experience of yourself, the reflection starts to reflect back to you a state of oneness because you're in a state of oneness. Isn't that lovely? So we're just helping you engage, move in, shift. It's like, think of it as an energetic yoga pose, a new stance for you, your body, your teams, reweaving your grids appropriately, updating all grids, all reference points, all ways in which you perceive and are perceived. And then once that integrates, we invite you, your body, your teams to again, reference the inventory you've already taken in some dimension at the level of your higher selves of all your creative energy, your life force, your resources, your gifts, wisdom, mastery, you placed externally, your light, your power that you placed externally and retrieve. That's what this container is designed to support, the retrieval of your resources, the retrieval of your light, the retrieval of your power. Clean it, recalibrate it for your current level of consciousness, re-embed it, reweave it on you, for you. Retrieve retrieve, retrieve from all previous incarnations, past, present, future, retrieve your resources back on you, your light back on you, your passion back on you, your gifts, your wisdom, your mastery, your light, your wisdom, your gems, your jewels, your treasure, and then take a moment to value it all more. Oh my gosh, I love my light so much. I'm so grateful I'm one with source. I'm so grateful I am connected and free and abundant. And if you know you're abundant, you may have placed your fabric of abundance on another trying to help them be more abundant and you're wanting desire, wanting them to be in a different place. So retrieve all that off of everyone you ever gave it to, all the peace, all the joy, all the, it's like connection, knowing who you are in truth the wisdom, the connection, the trust. Retrieve it, clean it, recalibrate it, reinvent it on you, for you. And what we encourage is for you to take the next 24 hours to 48 hours to hold a gentle awareness and maybe even two, three, four times a day. Invite your higher self, body higher yourself to retrieve all your gifts, your wisdom, your light back on you. We invite a balancing and stabilizing of all your energetic fields, updating all grids, all reference points, all ways in which you perceive and are perceived. And then one last piece that we wanna bring in with this is we're gonna show you, remind you what it feels like, how to and that it's safe to receive your own light, to be nourished by your own light, to be fulfilled by your own light. 
And to the degree that you choose, we invite your higher self, Body Davis, higher self, and teams to move into that energetic stance, that yoga pose of receiving and valuing your own light, your own gifts as your primary resource, support, your primary go-to or nourishment. Good. And we invite a balancing and stabilizing of all your energetic fields, updating all grids, all reference points, all ways in which you perceive and are perceived. Namaste.